fellow CNCers, wood turners, laserers, makers and breakers. Welcome to my channel. A couple of days ago I was filming uh, a video for my patrons uh, and I was putting it together yesterday and suddenly I was receiving notifications and congratulations for this 300,000 subscribers to the channel. Yay! <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a shock actually because I, when I started this channel oh, 14 years ago, 15 years ago, I never ever thought I was going to get any sort of response like that. But uh, thanks to all you guys out there being interested in what I'm doing, it has made this channel the success it is today. And I would like to thank you all. I'd like to put a special thanks out there to also to my patrons because without the patrons, this channel wouldn't survive so thank you so um i just thought i'd jump in and um tell you about this uh now before the sort of uh, main part of the video that um i was going to edit for all the subscribers which uh, is what i i've done so we're gonna now jump to uh, of that part of the video, which is an edited video of one I've uh, put up for my patrons. Uh, of course, it's, it's only going to be about half as long uh, because a lot of it's dedicated to patrons. So, uh, once again, thank you everybody out there for making this channel such a success. So, it's on with today's main event. So uh, this has been put on hold until the latter part of this year when hopefully I can uh, you know, afford to um, invest in, in one of these. Uh, so that's what's been happening. Um, and in between times, um, I have found um, a couple of external hard drives um, with all my sort of uh, rough footage on uh, on earlier videos that I've done and um, I've done three so far but I've remastered and sort of put back onto YouTube because they weren't in very good uh, condition, shall we say, um, when I originally done them because uh, we didn't have um, a very good internet connection here because we're out on a, on a farm and um, it is. it wasn't until I think 2018 that we had uh, fiber optic in and you know uh, a very very good internet. Now we use satellite internet and we've got uh, you know sort of fiber optic as well so uh, you know we're okay now but when the videos originally went out I had to put them um, I could only upload them and it took eight hours to upload one video and it, the screen was very much reduced it was like a like a, a, a letterbox type, you know, I was had a black gap around the sides. The only way I could do it, otherwise it would take like 50 hours or something. That's how bad it was. Uh, so I've sort of remastered a couple of those. Just let me know uh, what you think and whether you'd like to see more of those remastered. Just, uh, you know, send me a bit of a comment here on, on Patreon. And because uh, I think there's about 
there's about 10 of them which are, you know I consider to be very very good and informative uh, videos um, that like I say I mean no one ever watches them now because they're a pain to watch as in you know a little box screen because I do realize most people you know watch my videos on, on a on a phone, on their phone, on their iPhone, or you know, whatever they got, rather rather than on a, a computer or even a, you know a laptop or something. So yeah. <laughs> um, however, there is some good news. I think uh, basically for the I suppose the new stars and that. Um, let me just get rid of this a minute. And bring this up. Okay. The 6050 Plus. That is a nice bit of equipment actually. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing more with that. Um, and the other day, a bit, bit of but two weeks ago now, SamesMac contacted me again and they said, um, would you mind uh, doing another set of videos for a different machine for us? Uh, and I actually paid for this one. Well, actually, what they did, they, they charged me a trader's um, um, not fee, what is it? Trader's price, which was uh, about two thirds the cost of the machine. Um, which you know I was happy with because uh, a lot of the the people that can't sort of send me um, you know emails and comments, you see them yourself in the comment section, and some of you. Patrons are saying, well, you know, we're not totally comfortable in spending two, three, or four thousand dollars on, you know, all the parts and the raw, you know, the raw materials and doing it ourselves. However, the AMAX, um, sort of, I, I have gone some way to prove to. Um, you know everybody that hey you don't need expensive equipment to actually make a CNC router you could do it just with normal tools that you know sort of a handyman would you know carpenter would have in his shop and you can absolutely do it and, and that's what I tried to do with that one uh, and I think I've proven the point that you can you can do it. You know, if you you see you working with wood, you can actually make something like the the Amex. And the Amex rotor over there, I will be doing more with that as well. So this is the forty thirty, which is a smaller machine, half the cost, or well, pretty well half the cost. Um, and it's got uh, it's got two uh, little NEMA 23s on the the y-axis, uh, but it, it runs on sort of rollers. It, it you know sort of it doesn't have a it doesn't have rails, which I would prefer. But I'm interested to see, you know. So well, all right. Well, how do, how do these perform? Because I've never had much to do with them. Uh, and also, they're going to send me later. Oh, incidentally, they're just sending me this uh, machine because they were impressed with the videos I did with the uh, 6050 Plus. So I'm going to do the same with this one. It's pre-assembled, um, and you know, sort of show people how to use it, how to put it together, and what have you. But also, they sent. So with this particular little CNC router, they actually sell an upgrade kit 
that converts this into a 6060, which is quite interesting. Um, but they're out, they've actually sold out of the upgrade kits, so they're going to send me this first, then I think in about a month or so, they're going to send me this uh, 6060 upgrade kit, and it'll be interesting to see um, what it turns out like, so I'm interested in sort of doing that. Um, yeah, so that's what's been happening here with me. I, I really would like some feedback from you guys on some of the earlier um, videos that I did uh, back in like 2014 and 2015. Um, and you know, they're really good videos. Uh, but like I say, I have found uh, these hard drives with, uh, you know, it's in full HD, you know, so uh, just let me know, because I, I don't want to go putting stuff up, it takes me hours to actually put it together, and, um, you know, then upload and this, that, and the other, and I don't want to do it if no one's going to watch it, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I appreciate some feedback on that. And uh, again, guys, you know, thank you for being there. Uh, because without you guys, I couldn't do this at all. And, you know, it, it, in my mind, and judging by the comments I got coming back, um, I set out to do this, to do this, this whole show, to teach you know, young and old, how to use these machines, you know, uh, how they can even start a business at home themselves, or even how to make them. Laser is a little bit more difficult, and maybe one day we'll do that too, um, but, you know, it's, it's not rocket science, it may seem it, but it really isn't, and, um, it, you know, if you get a, a grasp of CNCs, you know, you, you, it's possible to break the cycle of working for someone else, or at least sort of get in one, uh, whether you buy it or whether you make one, uh, you know, and earn a bit of extra money, you know, sort of on the side. And there, you know, there is absolutely nowhere youngsters can go from, you know, when they, they, they leave school to go and learn how to use these machines. You know, it's, it's even quite difficult for them to grasp 3D printing. Um, but, you know, I do my best, and that's what I set out to do. So again, thank you for being there, guys. And um, I've wrapped it on quite a bit now. And uh, well, bye for now.